The purpose of this video is to cover Cypher Trust Transparent Encryption Agent Registration. To start with, we need to create a registration token on Cypher Trust Manager. A registration token is essentially a secret that when during registration of the agent you provide the secret and it essentially authenticates or allows the agent to be registered with Cypher Trust Manager. We create this the registration token and give it a prefix but it, there's, this can really be anything. One of the things that takes place during agent registration is the exchange of keys that will secure the communication uh, to the Cypher Trust Manager host. So all communication between the transparent encryption agent and Cypher Trust Manager will be a, will be encrypted by the these keys that are exchanged in the registration process. And this is tied to the Cypher Trust Manager's um, private key. So now that we have this token, and it's, again it's just a long string and it's a, basically a secret uh, that can be used during the registration process. We'll make a copy of it for later use. Let me start with the installation and registration of the CTE agent on a Windows host. The insta the CTE agent is uh, unique for each platform, meaning there's an agent for Windows, there's an agent for Ubuntu, there's an agent for, for Red Hat, there's an agent for AIX, etc. The Windows uh, installation is fairly simple. Uh, the installation process, and when the installation process is complete, it will prompt you if you want to go ahead and start the registration process. If for some reason you're not ready to do registration or there's an issue, you do not need to reinstall the agent to restart the registration process. Instead, you simply initialize or initiate the registration uh, process over. And I'll show you how to do that. So the installation of the agent is complete. Now, to start using the agent, you would need to reboot the host. But it does prompt you whether you want to go ahead and start the registration process. And I'll leave that checked and start that process. This is the name of the current host. The transparent encryption agent is the file system agent. And it's we start with... Um, what is the Cypher Trust Manager's IP address or host name? During the registration, it's going to prompt you with a few questions. One of the first questions is, do you want to enable a hardware association? So fundamentally what's going on here is the hardware that's being associated with this host can be tied to this host's registration, meaning you, if you copy or clone the virtual host, if the hardware changes in any way, then we will no longer accept that this is the official or host that was registered. So if you enable this and you clone or make a copy of the host, then that unique uh, hardware ID will not match and we will not communicate with that host. By turning this off, I can then clone or copy this host and we will still accept, even though that the hardware IDs have changed, that this host is still valid and able to communicate to Cypress Manager. Next question is, do I want to turn on the Live Data Transform feature? That's something that I cover in another video. And the last um, option is, do I want to enable efficient storage? There are a select few uh, storage vendors 
that have additional compression features that we can hook into. But you have to have that specific storage vendor and it's not relevant in most cases, so leave this off. The only thing you have to apply or the only thing you have to um, input during registration is the registration token. The other options are you know, either a default or can be left blank. The last option is whether you enable LDT communication group. This is unique for situations where you are wanting to create a guard point on either an NFS mounted volume or an SMB window share volume. And you want to use the LDT feature when uh, applying encryption to that volume. If you're just using local files such as an NTFS file system or its XFS ext2 or ext3 on a linux host then that's not applicable right this is only unique if if the volume is either um, smb or windows share or nfs and you want to use the ldt feature if you want to not use the ldt feature on that you can do that as well but it's only if you want to use ldt on that uh, specific type of shared volume So we have successfully registered. We can click on finish. On Windows, you must restart the host. On Linux, you do not. So let me go ahead and click on say yes. I'm going to restart this host. Now that the host is restarted, I can go back to Cypress Manager and create guard points and start using the product. Um, if you wanted to uh, perform the registration process, there is an icon added to the icon tray and you can restart the registration process graphically by simply selecting register host from the icon, the software transfer encryption agent icon in the icon tray, or there is an executable called register underscore host dot exe that would do the exact same thing. If you want to automate uh, the process of installation and registration that is also possible via options on the installation or registration command utility or the installation installer itself. So all this can be automated and is documented in the support portal. Now let's perform the same task on a Linux host. To perform the installation and registration on Linux, you do need to be root. The agent installation utility is unique per Linux flavor, meaning there is a Linux installer for Ubuntu, for Red Hat, for AIX. So you'll need the individual installation for your particular flavor of Linux. The process is essentially the same, meaning you go through the installation process and once the installation is complete, then you are able to immediately start the registration process. If you cancel this, you don't need to reinstall the software, you can simply restart the registration piece. So do you want to start the, or do you want to register the agent? Anything in square brackets is the default, so I can type in Y for yes, or I can accept it to default and just hit enter. What's the Software Trust Manager host? And it prompts me for what is the name of the host I want to register. And I can do it by host name or by IP address. I am going to select number one which is by the host name. I must provide the registration token. Again, I don't have to provide any information other than the default. Uh, I will be assigned a default profile if I do not select one. And I'm going to get the same kind of prompts about 
whether I need to associate this with the hardware. Again, I'm going to say no because I want to be able to clone this image if need be. I do not want to use efficient storage. Again, it's very specific storage vendors that support that feature. Do I want to enable Lab Data Transform support? Yes. Another thing about this option is Lab Data Transform is a registration option, meaning if you cannot turn it on later except by re registering the host. That doesn't mean you need to necessarily unencrypt or do anything like that, but you, you will have to perform the registration process to turn this feature on if you don't do it during initial registration. I don't need to specify communication group because I'm not using LDT on a, in this case, Linux situation, an NFS share. And installation and registration is complete. We can now view the registered clients inside the graphical interface and we can see that the communication to the hosts are healthy and a persistent session is maintained from the client to Cypher Trust Manager while that host and that agent is active.